Right, right. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Anthony F. Arganandrew.com. On this hot night in Philadelphia, we are looking at a runner-up for the TechCrunch Disrupt that just happened. Um, Chris Valesco from TechCrunch.com uh, did a quick article on Drift, which is a keyboard for tablets. So Drift was made by a person that helped co-found Swipe. Yeah, you remember Swipe. So Drift is supposed to be a little bit, you know, different than Swipe, like a upgrade to Swipe or something totally different. See the screenshot there, it's like right on the screen. I'm not sure how helpful that can be, but that is how they're doing it. Let's go to the website here. Alright, so you can actually uh, submit your information to get a beta be a beta tester for Drift, which is really cool. They're hiring because they're a startup. So they're supposed to uh, promote natural, fast typing. Let's see here. So let's see if we can look at this video. Oh, wait, before we do that, let's look at the... Uh... Okay, so touch tap. Drift's patented touch tap technology can detect whether a tablet user is resting or typing when touching the keys. This allows users to rest their fingers on home row keys before typing in their letters. So that's cool. That kind of like simulates a real keyboard. You can put your fingers on a keyboard and it don't, you know, doesn't work until you actually press on it. That's nice. Uh, Drift patented dynamic keyboard is the industry's first finger tracking system. Drift tracks the user's fingers while resting on the glass. Okay. Intelligent language modeling. Drift works seamlessly with many language models to help disambiguate inaccurate typing. Well, I could use that. Um, this is nice. Uh, let's watch the video. I'm not really, really impressed until they can actually create a laser keyboard in front of you while you're typing. That's technology. But until that happens, let's, uh, let's see the video. Let's see what they have in store for us. See if he'll play. and I'm the original inventor and co-founder of Swipe, the leading text input system for Android smartphones. And we've come up with something even more amazing for typing on tablets called Drift. It's the fastest, most natural way for touch typing on screens. Drift is incredibly easy to use. To begin, the user simply rests all eight fingers on the screen, and the home row keys actually form around your fingers. And then you can just begin to type normally and naturally. It's the world's first totally personalized keyboard because it actually fits your fingers. The user in this video is typing at over 80 words per minute on screen. So here's the thing about typing. When we all learned how to type, you learn to put your fingers on the little nubs on the J and the F keys, and then you get your fingers centered on the home row, and then you can start typing without looking. You can do that because it's a physical keyboard and you can actually feel the keys. But on a tablet, how can you do that? You can't feel those J and F keys. If I try to rest my fingers on the stock keyboard that comes with the tablet, everywhere I rest, it's typing. Not good. So the way we get around this problem with Drift is we actually use the accelerometer in the device to detect the vibration when the user taps on the screen to type. That way we can tell the difference between them resting and them typing. The really cool thing about Drift is... Okay, so I'm sold. I like it. I signed up for the beta to test it out. Um, only problem is that this is really suited for a 10-inch tablet, not a 7-inch tablet. Uh, that keyboard looks pretty big on the screen. Um, it will limit your typing window. It also will limit the view of the rest of the work that you're typing in. And I'm sure if you remember the old Nokia touchscreens uh, or anything that you do landscape, 
the your view is gone. You see what you're typing, but you don't see what you're typing in or the whole scape around it. So I'm sure they're gonna work on that. Once again, this is a startup that just starting. It has good potential. It looks really beautiful. The, the the design looks really nice. Hopefully, it's really fast. Um, we'll uh, circle back to this once we get the beta and we'll test it out. Let you know how it goes. In the meantime, you can test it out. Go to drift.com. D R Y F T. Let us know how you like it. This is Anthony F. Are you an Android? And are you an Android.com testing drift?